upgraded the uh, the wrist strap, the arm strap, to, uh, to more of a bracer type, something more secure. And then we were finally able to be with Rick and have him try it all. Yeah, so pretty much uh, just knowing Rick's limitations and stuff of that nature, we were able to come up with a, with this final design you see here. Um, we did break we did break a lot of these clamps through through the process, and we're very thankful that SUNY Polytechnic Institute was able to provide us with the software and the machinery and the machine shop at the at the institution to to develop these things. Because if it wasn't for that, then we'd kind of be left out in, in the dark. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the whole project. I've been asked a couple of times how much how much did this cost? How much cost like thousands of dollars? We actually spent less than $300 on this. A lot of these items, through innovation, uh, we ended up using ski clamps from, from boots that were sourced on Craigslist for free. So <laughs> stuff like that. Um, these, this cuff right here was, uh, it's actually World War II officer's cuff for riding horses. It goes around his leg. That was like $10 at the antique store in Westmoreland. So stuff like that. We're just able to use the skills and the knowledge that we acquired as the institution, our innovation, uh, stuff along those lines to, to develop this product that we have here today. So, I'd like to entertain any questions to anybody uh, about the process, the evolution of the design, the final product, <coughs> anything. Thank I rarely go golfing alone anyway, so <laughs> this is why I'll bring my friends along, not for their company. <laughs> now we only met with Rick twice to uh, to try out this this concept. So the first time we used we used this leather uh, cuff here, and the second time was a slightly slightly modified version of what you see here. The second time we met Rick, you probably hit. What? 20 golf clubs, golf balls. Yeah, um, sort of. Sort. Some, some were hit, some I not. think he did fairly good when he hit them. Um, Rick wasn't necessarily hugely satisfied with how he was hitting them, but... Um, That's golf. Yeah, <laughs> that is the game of golf. I think he did pretty good. There it is. And uh, I actually met with the golf pro at the Yanandasis golf course, and he recommended that I only swing with my left arm because he said that he could go out there, you know, a hundred times blindfolded and hit the ball with his left hand. But he could also he could try it with his right hand and miss probably 75% of the time. So I don't, I wasn't going to be able to use both hands. So that's why they designed it for just the left. And uh, yeah, went out, and tried it out, and the first ball I hit went somewhere. <laughs> I slowly got worse, actually. I don't know how that happens, but uh, it's going to take a lot of practice. So this is just the, the first step to me getting out of golfing. But this is the step that I needed the most because I couldn't even make an attempt to go out. Um, you know, really, the, the, sto the story started, what, four years ago? Yeah, on uh, AW2, Army Wounded Warrior, or, uh, yeah, Army Wounded Warrior um, group. They brought me to Citroen to try out, uh, to see if we could find a way for me to golf. And I had tried a few things along the way and it wasn't working, but they never gave up. And I kind of forgot about it, kind of let it go because it just wasn't happening for me. But Citroen never gave up and uh, introduced me to Nick and Adam. And uh, now I got this. And I don't think, like, they didn't explain it really. You know, they got the grade for this, <laughs> but it wasn't, um, the project wasn't complete when the grade, when they got the grade, correct? That's right. And they continued to do it over the summer until now to finish it up. So it wasn't just for a grade. You know, I mean, they could have just stopped right there because their mission was complete to get the grade, but obviously the mission wasn't complete. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. So we're here. If anyone has questions, or I'm um, Rick, we won't make you attached to your golf club for the rest of the day. Why not? I'm driving home. <laughs>
Yeah. Rick, how long has it been since you've been out on the links? Um, I I still go out with my friends, and I'll putt. I bought a putter, a long putter that I can use. So I went out a couple weeks ago, and I'll do. I was in a tournament with one of my friends, just uh, just putting. But now I can actually, you know, I, I'd like to start with just chipping and then eventually really getting out there and driving and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I didn't golf a ton before my injury, but I was starting to get into it right before I joined the Army. So, and I really enjoyed it. It was just, it was a time to go out with your friends and have fun, really. So this fits multiple clubs? Yes, it does. The, the clamps have a, have a quick release and you just uh, take the clamps off and put them on another club and it should be good to go.